Yeah, yeah, this is me, Sabria Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, today's a new day, and we're about to be on our way to the gym. This is my outfit, something simple. The pink with the white socks. I get a pump in. I feel like I'm looking a little dainty. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to give y'all a little voiceover today because, uh, dang, my forehead look big as hell in this funhouse mirror. But I'm giving y'all a voiceover today. I wish I could do more mic'd up content while in the gym, but they blast the music so loud. My gym is so extra, as you can tell from the DJ booth that's in front of me. But I'm just stretching my arms out, my back out. I like to do this before any workout and make sure you do it too so your body can function a little bit better during the workout. Okay, so I'm starting with chest flies. I like to warm up with these for any back or arm workout, and I'm working with a 15 pound dumbbells. <laughs> I don't know why I was going so hard in this <laughs> warm up. You can tell I was tired already. Like, girl, why was I going so ham? <laughs> okay now i'm doing the incline dumbbell chest press i really do 15 reps for three sets on each workout and then move on am i the only one who has a hard time with adjusting the bench sometimes i don't reach down to adjust it just because i i can't get it it's so embarrassing if you can't get it and people are just staring at you i will just go find a bench that's already adjusted how i want it like, I've been embarrassed way too many times from this. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm the only one. As you see, I switched from 15 pounds to 20 pounds. Honestly, I feel like I can go up in this. I think I'm going to try next time. This is my first time ever doing seated flies. I saw a girl on TikTok doing these and I was like, oh my god, I want to try that. I think I need to work on not moving my body so much and really just controlling the weight. But other than that, I love these so much. If you have not tried these before, try them. They feel so good. I did some more flies. I feel like today is just a fly day. Like I did so many fly workouts, but it's to get that nice shoulder, arm, back workout. Yeah. Right here, we're setting up for some chest supported incline Y raises. I always feel so awkward getting into this workout, <laughs> but this workout feels so good every time. I definitely feel like I need to work on more control and muscle mind connection with this exercise. I feel like I go too fast. This is why it's always good to record yourself as well to see like what you need to work on. These are tricep pull downs, making sure my knees are bent, pulling into my waist and really squeezing at the bottom, using my elbows to pull, to squeeze and try not to move my whole body. Face pulls are one of my favorite exercises, keeping my body straight, hands are facing the ceiling, really pulling and squeezing in the top of my chin, going nice and slow and really focusing on that muscle mind connection. Okay, these are bicep curls, having my chest lifted, squeezing at the top, and having my elbows tucked and not out. Uh, I really hate how my camera captures low light. I didn't even want to film in this corner, but the other machine was broken. 
I'm actually camera shopping right now, so if you know of any, any good cameras that can capture low light really well, comment below. Next on the list are lat pull downs. I'm going really slow here, making sure my elbows are to the side and not back, and really feeling that muscle mind connection as always. Okay, so this is my last workout of the day. This definitely helps with my abs and my arms at the same time. They both are burning. Yeah. And that's the end of this workout. As you can see, I'm so tired. I'm over it. But it was a really good workout. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Mwah.